We have this big sectional couch in our loft, and my daughter told me her little brother threw a Cats vs. Pickles behind it. So let's take a look. We'll zoom in and see if we can find it. There it is, right there in the depths. These things are basically beanbags shaped like a cat or a pickle. But instead of pulling the couch apart, we are going to make ourselves a little retrieving tool. And let's see how it goes. We're gonna use this broom, our red paracord, and a couple zip ties. I'm gonna pull out a couple arm's lengths. Now we've got our cord. Since these zip ties taper at the tail, what I'm going to do is stack them up as I place them inside the current mantle of our paracord. Now this sharp edge isn't going to slide very well inside our paracord, so I'm just going to trim it down. That way we have less obstructions going through. There we go. We'll take our first zip tie and start threading it through. There we go. We just have to do like a little inchworm action because eventually it won't allow it to slide in. So we'll just slide, push, slide, push, and inchworm it all the way in. You can see the zip ties in there and we have enough room to slide our next zip tie over. Okay, there we have it. Here we have the end of our broom handle. We're gonna thread our cord and zip ties through and then thread it through one more time. Now this, we are going to tie down to our handle. So imagine we take our cord and we go around and I just do a simple overhand knot, just like we were tying our shoes. Now that's not gonna hold very well. What I'm going to do is stick with that same overhand knot, but instead I'm gonna go around first, come back up, and then I'm gonna do my overhand knot, but instead I'm gonna do it underneath that turn that I did. So I'll pull that turn up I'll do my overhand knot. There we go, kind of messy, but we got it, okay? And then when I pull, that turn on top holds down the folded arms of the knot and everything stays in place. If you recognize this knot and know the name for it, please leave it in the comments. There we go, we'll pull it tight. All right, let's get this a little tighter with our marlin spikes. Here it is. Now I just need to pull on the end of my cord to collapse my grabber. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support my channel, you can pick up some of these. This is what it looks like when it's built, and it's a mini mechanical claw and a keychain.